What a treat! We have Grayscale back in VCV Rec, this time with some great new additions. So first of all, we have the algorithm and binary modules that were also available in previous versions of VCV. But now we have also the permutation sequencers and the variant expander. And we also have Supercell, which is a cloud clone uh, on steroids. Of course, all of these modules are available as hardware as well. So let's have a quick overview uh, of the modules and there will be also individual videos of each of them in the future so make sure to check out the description maybe there are already links to those videos okay so we start with permutation which is a take on the idea behind the turing machine so we have a sequencer that will generate random values and but we can also lock the sequence and create variations and permutations of it and there are three versions of permutation so here i have the full version i will just zoom in a bit so this is the full version sequencing the additive vibration module um, from life form modular and um, it's sequencing it three uh, with three different sequences so i have the main sequence i have also the inverted sequence and i'm also using the variant expander to create another sequence so let's have a listen to this this is the sequence of course, I can change the sequence and lock it again. Nice. Now, just like on the Turing machine, if I lock it to the left, it will play one cycle of the sequence and then another one inverted. So we get double the length. So here, for example, this is the sequence. And now when I lock it to the left, it will play it twice, one time inverted. Of course, we can change also the sequence length with the beats control here. Now it has also individual gate outputs uh, that we can use. In this case, I'm sending them to a sequential switch. One, two, three, four are going to the sequential switch here from um, VCV. This is triggering a bass voice. So I have here the palm loop oscillator mixing two waveforms um, through the VCMA from Lindenberg Research. This is going once through tangents low pass and once through tangents high pass and to a delay. So I get four different variations of the sequence. Oh yeah. Now I have here another version of permutation, which is smaller. Um, this is sequencing plats. So let's have a listen to this. Plats is also going through the Chronoblob 2, of course. here the smallest version of um, permutation which is amazing for uh, uh, modulation so this is modulating the timbre control of plats which is in this case the fm amount i'm in two operator fm let me just move a bit two operator fm um, again so um, various versions of permutation and also the expander and um, again there will be a video all about this, uh, those sequencers. And, but for now, let's have a look at algorithm and uh, binary modules. Okay, so algorithm is a trigger sequencer with a few interesting features. So here I'm using it in one shot mode. So it will play once until being triggered again. And it's triggering uh, the Hyatt module from Hora. So let's have a listen to this. So you can see it plays once and then it stops until it receives another trigger that tells it to start again. Now we also have the stop trigger output, um, which is this one here, um, triggering the open hat. So each time the sequence reaches the end, there's an open hat sound and it creates this uh, ratcheting sort of uh, sound, I guess, which is quite nice. Now it has also individual outputs um, for each step, 
Um, so I'm using one step to trigger an FM voice. I have here the FM operator going through some chrono blob. Oh yeah. Very nice. Now I'm also using binary here, um, which is a logic module. So it will, um, in this case, will combine a few of those triggers with an OR logic. So I'm sending one, two, three triggers, which means that whenever one or the other is playing, we will get a trigger out of binary, which is sort of combining this. This is triggering a bass sound. I have here Ona from Nano. I'm mixing a few waveforms sending them to the base module from OTIN, for instance, 303. <laughs> and then this is going also, um, a copy of it is going also to a hypers filter again and delay. Let's have a listen. Oh yeah. Okay, let's add a nice steady kick with Tremor 2. Oh yeah. Oh man, nice. Okay, I also have here the binary 2 module, um, which is also a, a logic module, but it's divided into two sections. So I have one section again combining two different triggers um, to trigger Dexter and I'm sending Dexter to a VCA and this is triggering the envelope of this VCA and I'm using also a, um, an LFO to modulate the level of the second operator so it's actually modulating the brightness, brightness <laughs> if you will. Oh yeah, and it's in chords mode. Okay, by the way, you can find all the different settings um, for algorithm in the right-click menu. So we have here the, you can program the grid, loop repeats, the sequence length, the gate and trigger settings, and all the other settings. Again, uh, there will be a video all about it in the future. Uh, so you can create really interesting rhythms and patterns um, with the combination of those three modules. Um, let's continue now and have a look at Supercell. Okay, so Supercell is a cloud clone, but it has lots of extra functionality. So first of all, we have individual controls. Let me just zoom in a bit. We have individual controls for the um, blend function. So we have feedback, panning, mix, and space, which is reverb most of the time. So you can control and modulate them separately. We also have additional modes. So we have the granular pitch shifter, looping delay, spectral madness that are also on clouds. But then we have oliverb, we have the resonator, we have bit repeat, which is probably my favorite. And we also have the spectral clouds. And um, by the way, I have the hardware microcell module also from Grayscale. And I created a sort of a cheat sheet, so I know um, what control is doing what in each mode. So I will put a link in the description to this uh, document if you are interested. We have also a VCA on the input and a VCA on the output, and also other features. So I have here a drum loop, and the gate sequencer triggering tremor, snare drum, and hi-hat. Sounds like this. Very nice. Now mixing it also with the mixer and sending it also to um, Supercell. In this case, it's in bit repeat mode and I'm modulating a few parameters with sample and hold. It sounds like this. Oh yeah, <laughs> quite glitchy.
very nice. I have here another supercell. This one is in resonator mode, so it will actually act as a voice. I'm triggering this voice with a clock. It sounds like this. You can change the decay time. Brightness. Very nice, I have here another one, this one is in granular mode and it's processing plats, sounds like this. Also here I'm modulating a few things with the sample and hold. <laughs> that was not my belly. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Uh, so that was it. Again, I will create a video on each of those modules. So make sure to check uh, um, the description. Maybe there are already links to this. Um, like always, there will be also a link in the description to the patches we've looked at today. Feel free to download them and take a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a Patreon. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> and have a good one.